guys welcome back to my youtube channel if you've not subscribed to us yet be sure to hit that red button so you can be a part of the family don't forget to share this video with family and friends and if you really enjoyed it give us a thumbs up if you want to be a part of notification gang hit that bell so you're notified every time my videos drop you can see from the title of today's video i am going to be talking to you about my skin journey I had done a video earlier, I just wanted to give a more fresher, updated version. My skin had never really been a problem, I'd say until first year. So within high school, I used to get occasional pimples, that was usually due to my period starting. Um, so it was just like one or two and it would disappear. I did notice however that when I did get a pimple, it would leave a mark which is usually called a blackhead. And I never minded it because it was like occasional, so I didn't have a lot of blackheads on my face when I went to university in my first year I started to see that I had an aggressive breakout of acne on my forehead and on the sides of my face and it began to weigh on my confidence heavily I was a bit more self-conscious I didn't want to look people in the eye when I would talk to them because I felt as though they were looking at my skin problems and all the blackheads and you know the big pimples because I felt so self-conscious about my skin I won't even lie I sometimes wouldn't go to class to be honest or I would like skip certain things that I could get out of um, simply because I just didn't want to face people it weighed on me that bad the breakouts were extremely tough and because I was also being recommended so many products and they were just so aggressive and harsh on my skin a lot of the pimples ended up turning red and it just made my face so painful I wasn't sure as to what the right soaps or the right thing to do was I just took everybody's advice because this was the first time I was going through something so big. I also made a mistake of covering my pimples with makeup and it was also a blessing in that I taught myself makeup through having acne but I used makeup to cover up the blemishes which is not conducive for acne to heal because your pores in your skin are essentially clogged already and you add makeup and you clog it some more so yeah that didn't actually work out in my favor i was self-conscious i was down i just had to pick myself up every day and looking in the mirror was difficult because i mean i just didn't find myself beautiful because of my skin being what it was and i've always said this to every person who asks me like i wouldn't wish acne on my worst enemy that condition is oh it 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 takes a lot it weighs on your emotions in a different type of way it questioned also my self-confidence like you genuinely feel like you're a self-confident person but until like something drastic happens and it changes your physical looks then you have to look past who you are physically and actually pay attention to who you are inwardly which it was a lot of learning it was in my third year that i started to get a lot more concerned because my acne just kept on going and I started to see a dermatologist who recommended um, needling micro needling on my skin and it basically extracts um, blood from your pores and what I from what I remember before it's basically meant to like um, open your pores so that like the dirt can come out and it replenishes your skin but that was not exactly what happened with my skin instead it actually didn't even get better and I feel like it got worse I really felt like I had more scars but I was I was happy that I was getting medical attention because not many people are even fortunate enough to have the means to be able to do so so thankfully that was happening i did my microneedling um, course for about i think it was six months so during my break between my final year and my honors i came home and i decided to look for another dermatologist that could probably help me and um, give me another i don't know idea as to what I could do and I came across a practice called the aesthetic doctors and I just want to say they are highly 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 the reason why my skin is as moi as it is today 
I went in and booked an appointment, filled out a form, and they did a thorough evaluation of my skin. They took scans, um, basically looked at black spots, sunburn, everything that is under the sun. <laughs> I did start on medication, which basically had to first make all the pimples come out and then eventually um it would dry out with the serum that i was using it was such an aggressive moment in the beginning because of how much was just coming out and it was painful i will not lie but it was all the more worth it and i'm just especially grateful that i had the chance to see a medical doctor um, about what was going on with my skin uh, there's so many different reasons why people say you have acne so many factors contribute to you having acne and it's important to understand what it is that it could be my advice to anybody struggling with acne at the moment is practice great skincare routines so wash your face twice a day and ensure you do drink enough water it is also essential for your skin to have hydration so keep on drinking your water and minding your business <laughs> um, another thing is make sure you change your pillow covers regularly even head scarves or headbands make sure you clean them regularly and if you're a makeup enthusiast make sure you clean your puffs and your brushes and your sponges so that you do not reapply old dirt onto your skin when the pores are open some people's skins are more sensitive than others that is why i'm not exactly going to recommend certain products but if you do want me to recommend products do leave that in the comment section below and i could do another video as to the products i use they're pretty inexpensive and i get them all at clicks so let me know if you want to see that in another video and be sure to share this video with family me and friends if you really did enjoy it thank you so much for watching and i'll see you in my next video as always be awesome bye guys